Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am doing good from my end and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video you will be able to get notified and for our returning subscribers welcome back and thank you for your support thank you for always being here for harry and megan supporting them and defending them whenever there is need my people for today's story i was just looking into these images of harry and megan when they were in australia for their australian tour my people, why am I referring to this? It is because of the recent visit that Camilla and Charles made. And my people, they already landed in Australia. That was the previous day. And guess what? A lot of people have actually called to attention the reactions and, you know, the way Charles and Camilla are not showing any affection towards each other. And for me, that's not shocking. It's really not shocking because I just know they are there for PR. There is no genuine work they are doing. And at the same time, Camilla and Charles are never in love. I don't feel like they are actually loving each other just the, the way Harry and Meghan are in love. So I just wanted to share with you some few images of Harry and Meghan when they were in Australia and even in the rain and the mud. Harry and Meghan were incredible on their Australian tour. And we won't see this excellence again. It was the last of its kind. Now, that tour that Harry and Meghan made to Australia was just such a brilliant, brilliant tour. And now, these failed royals thought that they could copy, but it really flopped all over their entitled belly. Charles and Camilla felt like they could actually do something close to or even more than what Harry and Meghan did in Australia. But definitely, Harry and Meghan are unmatched. They are unbeatable. And even before the tour that Charles and Camilla made to Australia, my people, there were a lot of stories that came out that Australian politicians are already snubbing the king that speaks a lot that really speaks a lot about you because why were harry and megan welcomed in a very good way and people were cheering harry and megan's presence it is basically because people have watched people know the difference between the sussexes and the so-called royal family members the remaining or rather the left behind winsers Speaking of the same, Charles actually has recently faced another kind of a controversy that you know what? He didn't lead Camilla out of the plane. He didn't lead Camilla stepping out of the plane. And now their marriage is just something else that shows lack of affection and support for each other. I'm just men mentioning that from the comments that people have given concerning the same. Now, people are running up to that story just comparing with the way Princess Diana was mistreated. And I am here to also say Camilla is facing it rough. She didn't expect that she will face the same. But now see, whatever Charles and whoever was responsible over Diana's mistreatment. It's now happening to Camilla, and this is karma. And I'll say Camilla deserves it. She didn't know it can reach such a point, but the hatred between Charles and Camilla is now showing. I do believe in any other events that they have been making, I do believe that they are faking a lot. They are trying to impress the public. They are trying to show a different image of themselves. But behind the scenes, I don't really think there is 
any kind of affection. There was a time that I shared with you a story of Charles and Camilla staying in separate houses. Imagine the residence of Camilla and Charles. It's different. And they actually call themselves couple. I don't know if it sounds well with you. Personally, it speaks a lot about the lack of affection and support. There is something that they are just hiding just because they are in the throne, just because Camilla is the queen and Charles is the king. They are trying to show us a very different image. At the end of the day, I'm not supporting any one of the two. I'm just here exposing them and just speaking the truth about them. Now that they are in Australia and Charles has actually decided to skip his chemotherapy, just for PR, it actually calls for scrutiny. So that is what I came here to update you on the same. Charles and Camilla's love is nothing to even celebrate. It's not even love. I can see. And from the comments I am seeing after they arrived in Australia, it speaks much about their love and their marriage. So I also wanted to compare with that of Harry and Meghan. And that time Harry and Meghan were in Australia, the work they did, it actually shows from Harry and Meghan's attendance of events, even during rains and mud. That is all I had for you today. Kindly comment down below on your own thoughts about the same and allow me end it here. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. And my people, before the end of this video, kindly consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so. Also like this particular video and share the link with your friends and family so that we grow to a bigger family always here for the sake of Harry and Meghan, and also looking into such kind of dramatic family. And for that, I mean the royal family. In this case, it was about Charles and Camilla's lack of affection and the way they are faking life just to impress the public or to show a different image of themselves that doesn't really work. Now their Australian tour has turned out to be terrible. So those are the things we look into, just giving updates on the same. So thank you, my people, for watching. Stay safe from wherever you are and stay tuned for our next one. Until next time, it is a goodbye.